Hi guys, it's Grant from Local Scraper, and I just wanted to take a moment to um, give you guys some um, advanced tips when it comes to using Google Quick and Google Full. Um, we've made some changes recently in the latest version, so I'm going to go over those, and I'm going to show you a couple tricks that have been added if you were not aware of them. Okay, so what has happened is that Google has decided that um, it will only allow you to use Google Maps with certain web browsers. Um, this caused problems with the web browser we were using in the bottom part of the screen here. So I replaced it with an invisible browser uh, that was a, a third-party browser. Um, just recently though, it seems they have also decided they do not like that one either. So from now on, uh, we're going to play by their rules and Google Quick and Google Full will require Google Chrome. Um, if you do not have Google Chrome, uh, it's Google's web browser. It's free to download. Um, just go to Google and type in Google Chrome and there'll be a, tons of download links. Um, very easy, very straightforward. You don't have to use it if you personally don't like to, but the program will require it to scrape um, Quick and Full. <coughs> um, one of the things we were able to do, because we've gone back to um, Google Chrome here, is that we can allow custom URLs to be used with the program again. Um, a custom URL would be this in the address bar. Um, right now there's nothing there, so it wouldn't bring up anything. But if we typed in pizza in New York, sure, we'll pick that one, and it gave us these results, we can then take this URL up here in the address bar, you can see it says pizza in New York and it has all the bits we need. Um, we can copy that and we can place it into our custom URL. Now what will happen is that the program will run um, this URL instead of the keyword in location. Uh, just like the other pro um, scrapers that we have, but now we've re-enabled it into Google. And this is because um, so long as we're using Google Chrome, they will always show us the uh, full version of Google Maps instead of the light version of Google Maps. Um, this is good because the light version of Google Maps seems to only um, return 10 results. So by doing this we're able to bring back um, custom URLs. So that's good um, for uh, people that want to use filters because I think it adds the filter into the search maybe. Um, and um, for those of you that in other countries that are not English, you can then take the, the URL of whatever you typed in here and do it that way. Um, another thing that has always been part of the program but very few people have, thought, have known about um, until recently is that with Google Quick and Google Full, um, there is only one search bar. There's one search bar here, right? So this needs both the address, uh, I mean the location, and the keyword uh, that you're looking for. But the scraper, before it runs, will actually only check for a keyword. So what this means for you is that you can leave location empty so long as you put the location in the keyword box. Now an example of what I mean is I can type in pizza um, in Key West, Florida. Now, if I ran this, it will come here and it will type in pizza in Key West, Florida, sort of like it looks like with New York here. But it will add a space and add a near. Um, this is because if you are using a keyword and a location, what we do now is we use your keyword, pizza, and then we would add a search parameter, near, and then we would use your location that's normally in here, which would have been Key West, Florida. But since our location is empty, it's saying keyword near empty. Now to get around this, we're gonna to go to scraper options and we're going to click this disable near and search. Um, this was added for international users who, if they're writing in Dutch, for example, have a Dutch word near, which is an English word and a Dutch location it caused problems in Google. So you can disable near in search. And now if I search for this, pizza in Key West, Florida, it will come to Google and it will type in the exact phrase. 
Uh, we can see it in action real quick if you'd like. It's making a very big browser. There we go. Uh, it's waiting to load and pizza in Key West, Florida. I'll just stop it. We don't need it actually scraping. So what this means is that if you're located anywhere else, um, if your language is Chinese or Japanese or something, you can write your whole search phrase in only the keyword location. Um, whatever you would put in here, if it was, you know, a keyword or an address or whatever it is, this one box you have here can be separated out into this one box so long as you remove the near and search. Okay, um, another thing is that now that we are using Google Chrome, as you saw when I opened it before, it opened up really big, um, bigger than the recording window here, these other things that resize. So if you're going to be using your computer, you're going to want to not have Google Chrome in the way. So what you're going to want to do is click hide Chrome browser, this box right here. And what it will do is we'll, it will open Chrome, but then it will minimize it so you'll just see it down at the bottom of your screen in your um, taskbar, but you'll be able to go about your business and do whatever you want because the scraper will be working in the background. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay, um, I think that covers it for now. Um, this was added before uh, the Force English language. Um, this was also at the request of international users. And what it does is that by default, we no longer tell Google that our language is English, which we did before. So if you want to find English results and you live in Germany or in Japan, you'll want to click this box and that will tell Google that the results you want, you want them in English. If you don't click this box, they will be in whatever your native language is for your computer and location. So if you didn't click this, um, and you typed in, say, like a Japanese word here, uh, near another Japanese word, um, and you ran it, the results you would get would be in Japanese. If you were in Japan and you added an English word, uh, near an English word, um, and then you clicked this, it will give you English results. So these are mainly for international uh, users. But if you do want to use that new cool keyword trick, that I showed you, you will need to turn off uh, the near and search. And also, if you were not aware of it, um, Google Quick, uh, they do not give us GPS data. They only give us addresses. So also under the scraper options, while I'm going on about Google, is this GPS lookup API. Now, this is the only part of the program that uses any sort of API, and it does have a limit. The limit is right here. It's uh, 2,500 per day per IP address. So if you were running Google Quick and you needed GPS data, if you check that box, it will use the Google API, the Maps API, and it will ask them for the GPS data based on the address of the business. So if you're going to do this, I highly recommend you use proxies, because um, as you see, it's 2,500 per day. If you need more than that, you're going to need to use uh, proxies because for every pro proxy, you're getting another 2,500 um, uh, API lookups. Okay, um, that's it. I just wanted to show you guys um, some neat tricks with Google and sort of explain the uh, most recent update and how it'll affect you. Um, installing Google Chrome is really easy. It's a great browser if you don't already use it. If you prefer Firefox or something, that's totally fine, um, but you will need Google Chrome installed uh, to use Google Quick and Google Full. Okay guys, see you later.